This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. For animal lovers, by animal lovers. I grew up in the Australian outback, the bush. The out We've just left the island of Flores, we're on our boat, we're making our way to the remote island of Rincha, where we're going to go and search for the massive, awesome Komodo dragons and any other wildlife that we might find along the way. The islands in the area of Indonesia were formed by massive amounts of volcanic activity in the area and you can see these rugged landscapes they've left behind. Can't complain about this. Oh, we've left the boat behind. It's way down there. This is it, Rinch Island. Time to look for some Komodo dragons. Oh, look at this. Monkey skull. One of the foods of the Komodos, especially the younger Komodos, you know, sort of like five, six years old. 
they start weighing about 20, 25 kilos. They move a lot faster than the bigger dragons and if they're quick they can actually catch these monkeys and, and have them for lunch but if it was a larger Komodo, if it was a Komodo attack, the big one would have just swallowed the head and all. Look at that. It's a striped bronze back. And you can't even tell when these snakes are in the trees. It just looks like a green twig. And they're a daytime snake. They cruise around in the canopy hunting lizards and frogs. And they're awesome climbers. Grow up to a metre and a half. These ones lay eggs, up to ten eggs. He's got big round pupils. Helps him see during the day. And this guy's actually got a red tongue, bright red forked tongue. He's got beautiful green colours, bronze, and that's where he gets his name from, the top of his head there, bronze back. Awesome little snake, very swift through the trees. They'll also spring from one branch to another, get to the end of a branch, coil right up, and then they'll spring. Here we go. Things wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh. And then once he actually hooks onto it, he'll just disappear. Not many people even get to see these snakes. They're just in the trees, they're almost invisible. Here he goes. Gone. This is a Komodo dragon nesting hole. They find the big mound nests of the megapode birds and they dig their holes and lay their eggs in there. They lay up to 30 eggs and their incubation period's around nine months and the females will actually protect the eggs for up to three months. They'll also dig a heap of decoy holes around the area so that other predators can't find the eggs. See that? You hear a dragon. Let's go. Oh, have a look at that. It's a big male. It's probably about 70 kilos, I reckon. Oh. dinosaur that's awesome look at him go he wasn't stopping for nothing I tried to stop him but you won't stay in his way too long
Komodo dragon just over there. Let's see if we can get a bit closer and get a photo of it. Stay there, Andrew. Stay still. Stay still. Awesome to see that. Komodo dragon. Got a couple of good photos too. See, we've got one of the dominant males here. Another dominant male here coming in. Long-tailed macaques. Now, when you stare at these monkeys in the eye, sometimes they see it as an insult, so it's best not to look in their eyes and smile and show your teeth, because it's a sign of aggression. It's okay. It's okay. If I can get the big boy on side, then they might relax a little bit and I'll also feel a little bit more comfortable. So these guys are hanging out in the mangroves as a troop, big family group. And they've been known to dive from the mangroves, catch fish, they'll dig up these crab holes, get crabs out of there. Today they're getting a special treat, a little bit of banana. Oh, he's a piggy, isn't he? <laughs> you can see this little one's got his jowls full. They store the, store the banana in the jowls there. Much like pigeons do with seeds. Oh, you're getting jealous. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. It's okay. Relax, relax. Relax. Okay. He's a bit toey, isn't he? <laughs> more, 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 more. Are you saying more? I reckon you're saying more. Yeah. Good, good. Hanging out with the rallies. Catch.
How cool was that? Jarvan deer, there was three of them. One of the prey items of the Komodo dragon. We've got to be careful moving around at night time because there's green tree vipers, there's Russell's vipers on the ground, and not to mention somewhere around here, there's some big Komodo dragons sleeping, and I'd hate to step on one of those. Best to leave sleeping dragons lie. This is something you don't see every day in the middle of the rainforest. Land crab. Night time these guys cruise around the rainforest floor. Believe it or not, a lot of them actually eat fruit. Now it's pitch black, we've got the night shot on, I can't see where his claws are, but he's a pretty solid little guy. Not everybody will have the chance to see Komodo dragons in their lifetime. Maybe you don't want to come here and see them. But what we want to do is share with you our adventure of a lifetime. So come with us. Have a look at the size of this bloke. This is about a three metre male. This is about as big as they get. They can weigh up to 80 kilos. And he needs to eat about twice his body weight every year to survive. So 160 kilos of meat, which would add up to about two full grown deer. And when they eat, they actually eat about 20 to 30 kilos in one sitting. And then they'll take five to seven days to digest that food and he won't have to eat again for about two weeks. Because of his slow metabolism, he doesn't rely on food to heat his body, he's ectothermic. It's a big male and you can see he's the boss. You can see the skin there, it's like chain mesh, very strong, they use that when they're fighting. In the mating season, the males will combat each other in the right to win the female. Now they can smell a female in season from up to five kilometers away, picking up the pheromones with his smell and with that tongue. He's probably about 15 to 20 years old. And he's on the hunt. You can see he's ready for a, for a feed. You can see his ribs there. He needs to put a bit of condition on. So he's due to catch something. If he picks up the scent particles with the left part of his tongue, he'll turn to the left. And if he picks it up with the right side, he'll turn to the right. Picking up the scent with his nostrils, they can smell rotting flesh from up to five kilometers away. What a ripper. I think he's trying to work out whether I'm worth chasing or not. Big dragons like this won't make an effort unless they know they can get about 20 kilos of meat. He's a big boy. It's 
hard to think when these lizards are born, they're only about 40 centimetres long. on our next adventure and see you next time. My name is Brian Barczyk. I've been working with exotic animals for over 25 years. I'm no zoologist, just a guy with a passion for animals. And that passion often takes me on animal adventures around the world. This is ABTV.